So time for a slightly easier read than last week. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name's Chloe, welcome back to my channel, thank you for being here today. Last week's vlog I've just like filmed a wrap up clip and I'm like I'm progressively looking worse every clip I film. Today I'm just starting off looking tired apparently, I don't know why. It's Monday evening and um, I have actually not updated a vlog since Saturday but I have read or nearly finished a book since I last spoke to you guys so I should probably talk to you about it now because the next clip you see is probably going to be me saying I finished it. Just helps when I can actually find the book which is clearly showing you how interested I am in it. it that's making it sound a lot worse than it is. It's it's okay. I'm reading Into the Crooked Place by Alexandra Christo. This is a YA fantasy that came out quite a few years ago now and I bought it when it first came out having liked To Kill a Kingdom by the same author and came out in 2019. And I'm enjoying it. It's fine for what it is. It is a YA fantasy that is not necessarily the most original. Like a lot of the things in it, I'm like, I've seen this type of story before. And yeah, there's nothing bad about it necessarily, but there's nothing particularly original about it either. And I'm not, it's some, like, I don't need the story to be the most original sometimes. Like plenty of stories I read have got things in there that have been done, I've read before. But it, they have like really good characters that draw you in or something like that this i'm not even that attached to the characters it's feeling like a very middle of the road free star read at the minute i've got about 100 pages left so we will see when i actually get to the end of it but there is a reason why i'm reading this but i don't think i can say that yet although actually let me check something yeah as of the day of this going up you will see the reason why I'm reading it the day after. So I can't really say anything yet, but there is a reason why I'm reading this. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And like I said, not hating it, but not loving it either. Plans for the rest of the week though, does involve books I will love. And I know I'll love because I've already read it. I'm going to reread Babel. You're all sick of hearing me talk about Babel, but it actually comes out next week. And I'm going to meet RF Wong, Rebecca Wong, twice next week i'm going to a book signing in london at forbidden planet i can't go to the big london event because i'm going to be in london watching a concert on that evening but i managed to get tickets for the forbidden planet one earlier on the day there's only 100 tickets and it is limited to one book being signed so i got that one because i'm also supposed to be going to the event in york and i should fingers crossed still be able to go but there is a chance that i'll be go but not be able to stay for the actual signing because it's travel and things like that so i thought i'll go to the one in london and get the book signed just in case and then hopefully i will be also be able to go to the york when i get things signed but if not i'll have already met her in london but and if i can only go to the york one for the talk before the signing that's absolutely fine then as well because i'll have already actually had the opportunity to meet her but anyway what all that adds up to is i want to reread babble before i go and see her so and i now have two finished copies i have my one that i got from yalk because of the lovely lisa and my loom crow one came yesterday and eagle eyed and eagle eyed people of you may actually be able to spot it just behind me but yeah i'm very excited i'm gonna be rereading that Depending on when I finish that, I'm hoping I'll finish it by like the end of the week. Depending on when I do, I also need to read We Hunt the Flame, which I do have the audiobook for. And and the next Wave with Children book that I always forget the name of. But with We Hunt the Flame, depending on, I'm not sure what my plan is at work this week because we're sort of at the end of some training, the start of another piece. If there's days where I'm sort of just sat reading through things on my own time, I will have an audiobook in again. If it's all sort of group work or if it's observing and things like that, then I won't. So if I able it's if I'm able to listen to an audiobook, I'll probably start We Hunt the Flame. Um because Babel obviously does not have an audiobook yet. And also I'm annotating it anyway. So I wouldn't want to listen to an audiobook. But yeah, that's the plan for this week. Other than that, like life plans, I don't think I really have too much going on so hopefully just a lot of reading next week's vlog will be a bit more interesting in terms of like a trip to london and things like that but this week is fairly chill and we're just gonna get some reading done hello hello i really need to stop filming in this lighting because i just edited a video actually and it doesn't look as bad when i put it on the screen but on the camera it's not looking good it is tuesday morning i'm getting ready to start work i've just got all me and then they're giving us a five minute break before our next one so i thought i'd pop on and say hi i have finished the book i was reading yesterday i finished into the crooked place i've given it three stars it wasn't bad at all i was just bored and um, 
there's nothing that's really sort of making me want to continue on with the series. It did end on a bit of a cliffhanger, but I'm not that interested. I might just try and find all the spoilers about how it ended. It, it was fine. I am going to be starting my rereader babble today, um, but I won't be able to start that until after I finish work because obviously I need to physically read it. And, and even if I had an audiobook, I'm actually doing something where I can't put an audiobook on today. So what I'm going to do today as well though is basically you'll see here I have a full face makeup on which is strange considering I'm working from home but we were supposed to be on a meeting this morning where we had to put our cameras on and then that meeting got cancelled last minute so what I'm going to do is take advantage of the fact that I have put makeup on which says I would have gone on camera without makeup on but I thought I would sort of combine two in one make myself look presentable to be seen and also film my TBR on my lunch break. Well I was going to try and film it before I started but I didn't get around to it. So that is lunch break plans. What I have done while I was waiting for the meeting to start is print off my Bacopoly board because I will be taking part in the month long Bacopoly fun again and I've got to try and combine that with TBR mash so we'll see how it goes. Hello it is Tuesday. I think I've updated you already today. I did to update you this morning but I thought I'd do another quick update because I filmed my TBR for next month now you should have already seen it when this video goes out and yeah Bookopoly was actually nice to me TBR mash was nice to me I don't really know what's happening but it's like it's not a small TBR but it's a TBR I'm really excited for so yeah but also importantly I now have Babble ready to go I know I keep saying I'm gonna start reading it but like I said I need to actually sit down and focus because I have my little key in place. I have the uh, see-through sticky notes. So I've just wrote a little key of what all the colours mean. And I have my bag of sticky notes and tabs ready to go. And we're going to go and sit and read some of this before I eat. And then I'm on sprints tonight so I can read some more of it then. And I'm very excited, especially now I've got the TBR out of the way. And also I've edited my blog for tomorrow. So all I need to do for the rest of this week, like video wise is to edit my TBR but I can do that later around the week it's fine so for the next few nights I can just concentrate on reading this which I'm very happy about. Hello it is now Wednesday evening I have got reading updates actually since I last spoke to you I don't think I'd actually started my rereader bubble when I spoke to you last I was preparing to reread it I have actually started now I'm about 60 pages in and I'm tabbing it and I wrote a fair amount of tabs so far to say that that, if you can see, is 60 pages worth. There are lots of things to tab in this book. I am obviously reading it slowly because I'm tabbing it. I'm also annotating parts of it. I've got the clear sticky notes so that I can annotate at the same time. So yeah, definitely reading it slower than I would like to considering I've still got other books I need to read this month. But I have just been approved for the arc of the audiobook as well. Which is great because basically what I'm going to do now is listen to the audiobook whilst tabbing it and it'll make it a little bit easier because I'm not having to sort of stop and start as much to tab things. So my plan, I think with the speed that I'll be listening to it, because I'll listen to it a little bit slower than if I was just reading it so that I've got time to tab it. The speed I'll listen to it, I think it'll, the audiobook should take me about nine hours and I'm thinking I can do that. Some of it tomorrow like around like before work I'm gonna break after work I am busy tomorrow night though um but yeah some of it tomorrow and the rest of it Friday and I've got the house to myself on Friday evening as well so I can just power through and then this weekend I want to read We Hunt the Flame and um, so I've got that done for the end of the month as well and then I can concentrate on other things when I'm sort of traveling down to London at the beginning of next week so yeah that is my plan I still need to read the we with children of Ella as well. I might try and squeeze in. So I might try and get the TBR done this week. And, and then anything I do next week before the end of the month is just extra. But I'm obviously a little bit babble. But I don't think we need to discuss that. I love it. I'm picking up on more things this time. Because obviously I'm picking up on things that are like foreshadowing stuff later on. And yeah, I'm really, really loving it. I'm happy that people are now receiving the copies because people that I know are reading it. So like Ash has been sending me updates on her reading it, although she's actually reading The Burning God and Babble at the same time. So I've been getting updates on both, which is fun. And also me trying to keep track of them is hard enough. I don't know how she's managing it. Although I've, from what she's told me today, she's focusing on The Burning God at the minute because she's into that now, which I'm very happy about because more people should finish the Poppy War series. But 
right now I'm actually not reading tonight <laughs> like I'm saying like I'm gonna do this tomorrow and the day after and I'm mentioning any reading plans for tonight it's about 10 p.m and I just don't have the energy to read today basically my new job is like hybrid working it's part working from home and then it's part traveling but we do also have an office that and the sort of traveling days are classed as our office days but we do also have an actual office that we do sometimes have to go into and today we had to go into there so that we could um, get all our IDs and stuff sorted out and it, but it also meant sort of like meeting a lot of new people on the team and things like that I've, I've spoken to them on like teams meetings and things like that but I've not actually like met anyone face to face and meeting new people face to face takes it out of me a lot I'm an introvert so yeah although it was like quite a relaxed day because we didn't really have that much to do work wise it was still a lot and I'm just very very tired so I am um, started re-watching the American Office because apparently I just want to start rewatches of loads of programs but not actually finish any of them at the minute so yeah I've got the office on and I'm gonna properly get in bed because I'm sort of laid on my bed at the minute but not like under the covers <laughs> I'm gonna properly get in bed and hopefully fall asleep because I am tired but I will update you guys tomorrow with where I'm at bab with Babbel. I may also actually, because I think tomorrow's work is like the sort of thing where I can have an audiobook on. So I may start the audiobook for We Hunt the Flame tomorrow rather than leaving it until Saturday. Because I won't be able to have the audiobook of Babbel on because I need to tab that. So I think that's pushing it a bit far. I'll be like tabbing a book whilst also doing my work i don't think that really adds up does it right i'll chat to you guys tomorrow hello i realized that i never did an update yesterday it is now friday yesterday what did i do i started <laughs> i started a book it is not something that is on my tbr i started fool's quest is it fool's quest no whatever the second one in the fits in the fall trilogy is i think it is fool's quest actually so yeah i think it's assassins i think it's falls assassin falls quest assassin's fate i constantly get them confused but anyway i don't know why i decided to start that i do know why i want to read the last two in that series so that i can catch up with the catch-up book club elder lingalong and that I, the live show i believe should be like beginning of september so basically i need to read like two of these books in the next two weeks pretty much so fingers crossed I can do it. I think I can because I'm listening to the audiobook and on the speed that I'm listening to it at because Scribd on iPhone now does up triple speed, I should be able to finish it in, I think I've got nine hours left of the audiobook, which is good. But I should obviously also be reading stuff that's actually on my TBR. I don't know if I mentioned as well, I got approved for the art, audiobook arc of Babel, which is going to make it a lot easier for me to tab it and annotate it. The thing is though, is I did like very little reading other than starting that audiobook of Fool's Quest. I'm just going to call it Fool's Quest. Um, other than starting the audiobook of that, I didn't really do much reading because last night I was filming a podcast. I know I said earlier on in the video that I wasn't sure if I could say what I was reading that book for even though it was fairly obvious um but they put it on their twitter last night so yes i can say i'll be on the barely adulting podcast which is going to go up the day after this video goes up so i will link so i'll put a link to the barely adulting like youtube page and twitter so you can find the links to all other places you can listen to it because it's on like all places that podcasts are available all of that sort of stuff um but yeah it was really nice to have a chat with Gem and lisa and it was just a fun time but it also meant that i didn't do a lot of reading because it's like we logged well, on at like eight o'clock didn't start recording straight away because we were chatting recorded for like an hour and 40 minutes and then spent a good amount of time chatting afterwards as well so we didn't finish till like 11 o'clock and i was like i'm not reading anything now and now i'm at work and like it's a day where i can't just put an audiobook on because i'm talking to people so yeah we're just gonna try and get some reading done tonight i am actually um i had the house to myself this weekend so i'm dog sitting so i should be able to get a fair amount of reading done over the next two and a half days so like this evening and then Saturday and Sunday and then Monday I'll be off in London which has just reminded me that I'm going to need to edit this video on Sunday pretty much so that it's ready to go up because I will have time on Tuesday night but not a lot of time 
mind is worrying i'll just this is how my brain works um but yeah i don't think there's too much else to catch you up on other than i started my morning today by so i logged in to so i logged into my computer at like quarter to nine but uh half past seven uh, when my dad went to come pick my mum up from work i jumped in the car with him because there's a starbucks near where he picked my mum up and on the Starbucks app, you can now get early access to their autumn drinks and pumpkin spice lattes are back. And I am basic and I wanted a pumpkin spice latte. So I had one and I'm very, very happy about it because it's my favourite drink. So I, I like the gingerbread lattes at Christmas, but PSL is what I need in life. It's just like autumn in a cup. And I'm very happy because I'm not a summer person. So this is like signifying that summer is nearly over and I'm really happy about it. But yeah, right now I'm going to make myself another cup of coffee. I'm going to make myself coffee with my Nespresso machine instead and go back to work. But I thought I'd give you guys a quick update. Hello, it is Saturday morning. I, of course, did not do an update yesterday evening because I am never good at these vlogs on a weekday. Weekends is where I do most of my updates. It's obviously where I do most of my reading, so it kind of makes sense. Um, Did I read yesterday? I did. I read a little bit more of Babel, um, but I just wasn't in the mood to sit and annotate it. If I was just like sitting and reading it, I think I would have read a bit more. But because I'm annotating it at the minute, I was like, I'm just not concentrating enough to do this. So I put that down. I read a couple of chapters of Fool's Quest, but then I decided that maybe reading just wasn't what I was into at the minute instead and I uh, did some editing for my video squad today. So I still was productive, but I just channeled it in different ways. Um, Today, though, I have been listening to some of the audiobook of Fool's Quest. Um, I am dog sitting this weekend. I say dog sitting like he's not my own dog. My parents are away, so I'm the one at home looking after Harry, uh, which meant I had to take him on a walk this morning. So while I was on a walk, I was listening to the audiobook. And things are happening in this book that's making me very happy. I also think it's setting us up for like things to go very, very wrong in the future. But basically stuff that the reader has known throughout the series is now becoming known to other people as well and also obviously it's called Fits and the Fool this trilogy the fool is playing a bigger part in this one and is interacting with Fitz more and that's always my favorite time the other thing I'm a little bit like confused about is a big event that happened at the end of the first book to a particular character and you have not seen that character really since you've seen them once, you've seen them once, and Fitz is unaware of what has happened to that particular character, and it's just stressing me out because when Fitz finds out what has happened, that's when everything's going to start going wrong, and yeah, I just think things are going too well at the minute. It's one of those sort of moments where everything seems really happy, and I'm just like, but I know that there's this bad thing that is happening somewhere else, and yeah. I'm just, I'm just very on edge with it, but I'm really enjoying it. I am hoping that I can finish it. I'm going to say today, but possibly not, because I might. what I might do is read or listen to Fool's Crest throughout the day and then do read Babel and then read and I say Babel at night. I do need to finish Babel before Monday. Fool's Quest, I can wait a little bit, but Babel needs to be done for Monday because that's when... I'm going to the Hour of Kong side and basically I don't know if I've mentioned I'm going to two different Hour of Kong events so I'm going to one at Forbidden Planet in London which is the sign-in and then I'm going to the York talk and sign-in on Wednesday. I was a little bit unsure whether I'd be able to get to York because of work but it seems that I actually can now um, but I'm not sure how long I can stay after because of trains hence why I'm going to the sign-in on Monday first. But I would like to have my copy, like the annotating finished before I go to the signing on Monday, hence why I need to finish it for them. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna carry on with Fool's Quest at the minute though, because I'm really enjoying this. I'm actually on sprints for the next two days. So today, Ro Wandering Through Worlds, it's her one year Patreon anniversary. So she's got a bunch of us on sprints with her. So so I'm joining those in like half an hour, I think. And then tomorrow is Becca's normal sprints. So I'll be jumping on those as well. So hopefully that should hold me accountable to actually get a decent chunk of this one done. Um, but yeah, we will see. Harry is suddenly staring at me because he's not liking that I'm talking. He just wants to go to sleep. So I'm going to go back to reading. Hello. So much for me doing more updates on a weekend. It is Saturday evening now. I have been reading a lot today, actually. I've read... About 200 pages more of Babel, I think it is. Um, I have been tabbing as I've gone and I'm... 
if possible, I'm enjoying this book even more second time around. Because obviously now I know where it's heading. I'm like picking up on all the foreshadowing and things. And uh, I just, I love it so much. I think as well, because again, because I know the story, I'm able to appreciate the writing more as well. Because I'm just like savouring it. But I also need to finish it in the next like day and a bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm very, very much enjoying it. Speaking of books I'm very, very much enjoying, I am currently listening to the audiobook of Fool's Quest. Um, basically, I read Babel, Babel, whatever you want to call it, throughout the day. And then when I had to take the dog for a walk in the evening and when I was like having food and things like that, put the audiobook of Fool's Quest on. And now I don't want to turn it off because this is getting so, so good. There's... It's really hard to discuss this book because obviously it is the second book in the fifth series that is part of a 16 book series overall and it's this is a lot but basically um with this last trilogy there has been a new prophecy because one of the characters is a seer and there has been a new prophecy that you're not quite sure what it means for our and there's just been a reveal about it and uh, it's just like brought some really like cute stuff about a particular relationship because there is a particular i don't even know whether there's a particular relationship in this book that it, i love it so much it's my favorite thing in this entire series and yeah the sort of finding out what this prophecy is about finds it tells you a little bit more about them as well and I just I love it it's it's just it's beautiful it's my like I said it's my favorite thing it also really feels like we're going to start tying things together from some of the other series soon because we've had a mention of live ships which I think is the first time that's been mentioned in the Fitz books like we've had mention of elderlings obviously but Live Ships, which is from the second series, you've not really known that they exist too much in this world, but they've just been mentioned. There's some, and then there's something else that's happening to do with dragons as well, which has obviously potentially got links to the Dragon Keeper series. So it feels like they're all going to come together soon. I'm not expecting like all the other characters to come in and have it be like an Avengers Endgame type moment and that they're all there together. I'm not expecting that, but I am hoping that at least fits a story will like be influenced by other areas a little bit more like, it doesn't necessarily need to interact with the people but just if like what happened in their stories and where their parts of the world are are important to these last two books i think i would like that because it would kind of give me a reason of to why there's been so many books in this world and why we've not just focused on bits. Not that I've not enjoyed it. I mean, other than possibly the Dragon Keepers, it wasn't my favourite. Still gave them all four stars, but it wasn't my favourite series. But I would like the so I would but I would like there to be like a bigger reason for them all being connected. Cause that very much could have been a series that wasn't connected to this world at all it could have been a completely separate thing anyway i'm just rambling now i'm gonna go back to listening to it but i thought i'd give you a quick update hello it is sunday evening as you can possibly tell from how dark it is i obviously still didn't update today but the excuse is that i have actually been reading i have read a fair chunk of both of the books that i'm reading actually so babel babel whatever you want to call it um i am now up to i think it's book four in it um basically there is one like big event i mean obviously there's lots of events happening in this but there's one big event that kind of changes us that changes a lot of things it sets up all of these sort of final acts of this book and that's just happened and yeah it's fun because this time i'm reading it there's other people reading it at the same time so Meg actually messaged me earlier to say that this bit had just happened and I was like about 20 pages behind her. And I was like, and I'd said to her, because she told me where she was before, I told her that things were going to start happening soon. And she was like, yeah, but I didn't expect it to be that thing. And I'm like, yeah, it's it's good. It's, I, I love this book so much. Um, but also Ash is, I think I mentioned this 
before Ash is reading it as well at the minute and she is about 100 pages behind me at the minute and she so she's messaging me stuff that I've just read today which is fun because like obviously I knew having read it before when she was giving me um when she was giving me a thought I knew what she was talking about but now reading it a second time and having it more sort of cemented in, and having it more sort of cemented in my head and um, like obviously having just read it I know exactly where she is now so it's really fun to kind of see what her thoughts are because I've because I'm like just one a little step ahead of her and um, I am hoping to finish it tonight I've got like three hours left of the audiobook it is about eight o'clock at night so I should be able to do that tonight if I don't finish it tonight because it depends how tired I get if I don't finish it tonight I will finish it on the train in the morning I don't want to leave more than an hour left of the audiobook because I would like to have it finished and tabbed before I go and meet Araquang tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. But also I have made decent progress in Two Fools Quest as well. I am now like 500 pages into that. This could potentially be my favourite Robin Hood book so far. It's the, What's weird about it is that Robin Hood's middle books in the series well actually middle books in the series in general are like the setup book for the final are obviously like the setup books for the finals and robin hobb middle books in the series are always quite slow because her endings because uh, there's a lot to her endings but her middle books are where like character work really comes to play like the first the first book in her series is a lot of setup and then the middle one, she just kind of, you've, you've grown to love these characters and she just really digs into them a lot more so you find out more information about them. So although it's not necessarily progressing the, the plot that much, it's just building your investment with the characters. And the thing with this series is that because it is sort of the culmination of a lot of characters that I already know and love, seeing all these little moments and all this, and all this stuff that's happening, whilst it's not necessarily the quickest paced plot, I'm loving it so much because I just want to spend time with these characters. So yeah, I am looking forward to what's happening now though because the plot part has started picking up because it is in like, I'm in the final like 200 pages of the book and yeah I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes because i feel like it's got to her second books tend to have like one big event towards the end of it that then makes you want to come back for the finale so i'm excited to see what the setup is for like going into this last book the very last book which is not great but yeah i will probably try and film one quick update later on before i go to sleep just to round off where i'm at for the week but yeah that is where i'm at on this fine sunday i spent the day on becca's sprints i have also just had a break from reading because i because i've basically been reading all day other than like when i had a bit of a break to clean the house and things like that and um, the other little break that i had was just to finally watch the first episode of the new series in the game of thrones world uh, house of the dragon because i recorded it last week when it was on and then just haven't got around to watching it yet because i wanted to watch it like actually on the tv properly and our skybox is like down in the living room and there's been people in the house all week and no one else watches it so i yeah finally got a chance to actually sit and watch that this evening and i am very intrigued it's it feels like good game of thrones again at the minute because obviously it's all like new characters we're getting to know them all um but it, it feels very much like an episode of game of thrones before they betrayed all the character work that they'd done for all the previous series seasons i mean they still might do this with this one but so far obviously they've not had time to do that yet so it's fine um also matt smith is in it who is my favorite doctor so i'm very happy about that but yeah i'm intrigued by it so a little bit annoyed now that i'm probably gonna end up having to wait for the second episode because it's on tomorrow night but again it'll probably end up being next weekend that i get a chance to watch it anyway i will i'm gonna go and read babble <laughs> okay so i'm sat here reading babble i am up to page 413 now so i've got just over 100 pages left and pain has started um th this th this is the bit that I, I was not looking forward to rereading um because i, I hate this bit but also it has one of like my favorite passages of writing in this book and i really just want to like read the whole thing out here but i can't because it gives massive massive spoilers but mm -mm, i'm just like sat here and i can't physically move past this paragraph because i, I just want to reread it 
I think you can tell that I like this book. I hope you're getting that impression anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually go back to reading it because I think I will end up finishing it tonight. But I need to go back to it to be able to do that. I just wanted to share this emotion right now. Hello, it is editing Chloe here. It is actually now Tuesday morning. Um I obviously never wrapped this vlog up. I didn't get around to doing a wrap up clip on Sunday because I was tired and I just went to bed. But I'll do one Monday morning before I go to London. And then it's not even Tuesday, it's Wednesday. I just realised what day it is. Anyway, I thought I'd do one on Monday before I went to London. And then I wasn't feeling particularly well in the morning. So I didn't do that. And then I've been in London and I've been busy. So it's Wednesday morning, I'm just logging into work. I thought I would just quickly do a wrap up. So obviously in this week's vlog, you saw that I finished Into Scrocky Place, which I gave three stars. I didn't finish Babylon this, but I have finished it since it was a five star again. And same with Fool's Quest, I've finished it since it was also a five star. I had a good reading week. Um, I'm not doing that great with my TBR though. Spoiler alert for next week's vlog, it is now the last day of the month and I have two books to read. One of them is a novella, but like there's still a lot to do. But anyway, that is everything for this week's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. And I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye. Thank you.